Hello, welcome to AC Clutch. We will be doing our first video since April, and we're going to be reacting to the top 10 NBA players of the 2022 prediction. Um, the top 10 NBA players going into the 2019-2020 NBA season. We're going to start it off bad. with. My man's Kawhi Leonard. He's not your man. This dude, he's a fun guy, man. The guy took the Raptors to their first NBA Finals and won it all. He deserves it. He won it all. If Kevin Durant wasn't injured, if Clay Thompson wasn't injured, you know, he got injured in Game 6, Game 6 class, if he didn't get injured, Curry was playing with the dislocated finger. If that didn't happen, or about Bowie, DeMarcus Cousins wasn't even supposed to play, but he wanted to play, so he let him play. Okay, so four players, the Warriors, four of us players, were either injured or playing through an injury, okay? They weren't 100%. So yeah, he won it all, but he did not deserve it all. I'm sure he deserves this spot. At the number two spot, we got the king himself, LeBron. Just because his name is LeBron James, that doesn't mean that he'll be, like, top two, okay? Kawhi's better. Giannis is better. Kevin Durant's better. And James Harden's better. Four play better than him. So, LeBron should be top five, not top two. And plus, he hasn't even been working, like, out. He hasn't been, like, preparing for the season. But instead, he's been making, like, like, you know, talking about tacos and stuff. And not preparing for the next season. After that horrible, horrible, disappointment season that the Lakers had. Because people were talking about them. Oh, yeah. They're going to go to the finals. They're going to beat the Warriors. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Even though... It was really just Cavs 2.0. And then he made the, and then he made the playoffs. He didn't make the playoffs. Sad. Ron James. The only reason uh, he's in the number two spot is because Kevin Durant is injured next season. So Kevin Durant isn't in this video. But LeBron James has to prove he deserves this spot this season with AD. Especially late. They have to be especially good to make it out of the West. In the number three spot, we have the Greek Freak Giannis. Whoa, 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 whoa. MVP. Whoa, 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 whoa. Top whoa, whoa. three in votes for Defensive Player of the Year. Okay. This guy okay. is okay. ass. Okay, put it back over there. He said MVP. But say you deserve MVP? No. He only won it because his team has the best record. James Harden should have won it. Think about this. Think about this. He averaged 36 points, seven and a half assists, seven rebounds, two steals. He had 32 straight games of at least 30 points each. Okay. He led the team, not the team, the league. In deflections, he he led guards, point guards and shooting guards, guards in blocks. He started off as a 14 seed. They were alone 14, 14 seed, and then Chris Paul pulled his hamstring. What a surprise! Eric Gordon got injured. Capella got injured. So it was James Harden and basically no one else. Okay, then they went on that streak, and then after that, they were tied for the third seed. And they're like, what, 33 and 29. So yeah, he won it, but another year, another day, he got robbed. And if you disagree, then you are either a Bucks fan or just a James Harden hater, like this kid. I think. And he had the best team last season, best record. We should see more since. 
Cool map on. You know, they were number one last season. Can they do it again in the East? They were not number one last season. Last time I checked, if you were number one, then you win the title. So, the Raptors were number one. Because they beat the Bucks. In 2018, the Warriors were number one. 2017, the Warriors were the best. 2016, the Cavs were the best. You know why? Because they hold the title. Just because you have a, okay, yeah, maybe they're the best team in the regular season, but the regular season performance don't matter if you can't do the same thing in the playoffs. It is tied with Tyler in his top 11. This guy tore it up last season. Second in MVP voting. Could have won it with neck and neck. <laughs> guy had good. the best scoring season since no. Michael Jordan. He got robbed. And we have to prove what he can do with Westbrook. And can he be better in the playoffs? We'll yeah, just have to be. But he's tied in number four now. Next up is arguably. Excuse me. Arguably. The best shooter of all time. Tied. There is no. Arguably. There's no. Arguably anything. He is. The best shooter. Of all time. Okay. Like. Who is it? Huh? Yeah. I know like. No matter how many people think that he is. It. It. It was. Is. And always will be. An opinion. But. This is like one of those opinions that is almost like a factual opinion. For number right. four with James Harden, Stephen Curry. I believe this guy will have an MVP tier season he next will. season. Being the number one option for real this time. He has to... This time? This time? Stephen Curry was the first shot on his team. From 2013 to 2016, the only time that he wasn't was the years when KD was there, and when um and when um what's his name, Monte Ellis, when he was there, people forget how good he was. He averaged 25 points and still got stuff from last year. This time, so it's what he has without mm-hmm. Kevin Durant. Yeah, we'll just have to see. Next up, the Brow Hymns. There's no way. There is no way that LeBron James and Anthony Davis will both be a top five player in the league. There's, there's no way, okay? And second of all, this guy is the second option, okay? He won't be doing that. So that means he can't be averaging 27 points and 12 rebounds like he did last year. Like, he will be... Oh my God. He will be, like, averaging maybe 21 points and 10 rebounds. Fun guy, man. He needs to show up. He needs to have an MVP caliber season. But he's still young, though. But he won't. So, I still believe in him. I still believe he'll make it out. Next up, I think this is the seventh position. It's Paul George. MVP candidate, defensive player of the year candidate. This dude is, a, to me, the second or third best two-way player in the league. Behind, obviously, Kawhi, maybe Clay. He has to show up with the Clippers. Him and Kawhi can rule the West for some years. Look out. Number I'm eight spot, my brother from the same continent, Joel M. This guy is a defensive monster. Still young. The only thing slowing him down is injuries. Philly has a chance this season. It's their only chance this season to 
get a championship because the Nets next season, 2020-2021, no way, no team stopping that. Okay, next next up for number nine, tied for number nine, is the Joker. Looks like he always has a flu. Jokic. This boy is the best pass in the league I think I've seen in a long time. A long time. In your brain, in your brain, what is a long time to you, okay? Because Tim Duncan was a good passer, and he retired only two years ago. Walt Chamberlain is the best passing big man of all time because he averaged nine assists in one season with his, with his weak competition. And Jokic averaged eight assists in his competitive competition. The Denver Nuggets have a chance for the West, one of the three teams to have a chance. And this dude's like the best player mm-hmm. in the team, so yeah. Clippers. Also tied for ninth place is Dalla, yeah. Damian Lillard. This guy is one of the nicest guys off the court, but in the court, dude, he's a killer. You saw what he did to OKC? Man, he ended the whole franchise. This dude's sex He ended whole franchise. They were rebuilding. Okay. So he and then plus three players left. Only three. A franchise has only twelve players minimum and fifteen players max. But that's like four or five times more players. He okay. ended Tied for second best point guard in the league. No, I don't believe. Not tied. Next it's season true. also will have we'll an MVP tired. caliber season. We'll just have to see. Also tied for number nine is the ball handling god himself, Kyrie Irving, Uncle Drew. He didn't do that good with the Celtics. He'll have to prove this one year he can lead a team as a number one option before Kevin Durant shows up. Celtics wasn't as good. I believe with the Nets, he'll really show up. And we'll just have to see second best point guard in the league, best ball Third handler, best and, and the last, but certainly not least, the GOAT Who's himself. This? Who is this? It's the Lakers. Who is this man? I can't want Mirti. They're the worst team of all time. You can't lose with Alex Caruso. You can't win with Alex, Alex Caruso. Caruso. So what? He's not better good. than MJ and LeBron combined. Stop. Stop. He's literally the best player in the league. The best at what? Pouring water for his teammates? Oh man, he's a water boy. I just kept him out waiting for the best chance. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Yeah, this list was bad. Um, like. Like that, like I only agreed with Kyrie, Jokic, Embiid, Dane, Kawhi, Harden, and Curry. Oh, I only disagree with number two, five, and ten. That's it. But yeah, comment down below if I should make a top ten players going into the next season of my own, so you guys can see my opinion. Peace out.